You know what I really love about our logo? It's got that bluish hue to it. It's really good. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out on Twitter if you haven't seen it, at the FF Dynasty. Make Let's, sure you hit subscribe on YouTube, too. Yeah. Give us a subscribe so you don't got to go look and just... It, It'll just give you a notification when it we just drop pops some new up. stuff. Yeah, yeah. the the Gotta bluish hue FF Dynasty just uploaded a video for your pleasure. Boom. Well, a guy who's got some, you are at least used to have some bluish hue to him. <laughs> Old Arlene's Darkwa. He's a free agent. He's going to get out from from New York here most likely. He's got an ADP of two seventy three. He was a guy like Big Co kind of mentioned, a Jarek McKinnon. He was a, uh, a spark guy, I think, and all the metric guys really liked Darkwa, and I I, I had been critical of him. You know, a couple of times where people are like, oh, Darkwood, Darkwood, Darkwood. And I was like, yeah, this guy's really never done anything. And this year, man, I got to say, I, I I liked what I saw from him. He had seven double digit fantasy production uh, weeks here. Uh, one of those was 9.9. .9, so I counted that. So don't right. come back and be like, well, there's only six. <laughs> um, he had a couple of dudes in there in the beginning of the season. Paul Perkins being one of them. And Wayne Gallman eventually ate into some of his games. But he finished the season strong in week 17 with 21 fantasy points. Um, he missed week four with a back injury and exited week five against the Chargers with a calf injury, but he was having a solid game there. Eight carries for 72 yards. I think this guy's got the parts and pieces to be a decent NFL player and, and can definitely contribute for your team. And at, at 273, I think that's just a, a free stab at a guy who has shown to be productive. I mean, what were the Giants offense? What, what was anybody doing in the Giants offense last year? Like, all the receivers got hurt. The offensive line was terrible. Eli couldn't do anything. Darko came in and, and was really a bright spot in, in, in what they had going on. And was very startable for you a lot of the times. I mean, he's he's a pretty physical runner. He, it's pretty decent to watch. And I think he looks thick but not fat. And yeah. I think uh, I'm definitely intrigued at 273 for sure. I mean, well, you got to go up this ADP list to see a decent ways, like 20 spots, and then you hit Doug – Doug Martin, and you're like, okay, well, I guess I take Doug Martin over or Orleans here, but like, I got to go up a ways to find a guy I want more than it's due to 273. So. Yeah, I mean, 273. I mean, that's that's a heck of a number. We were just talking about guys at 173. That's the, that's like where Rex Burkhead was right. last year. Yeah, exactly. So at 273, you're in the 23rd round in a 12 man draft before he's on. He's coming around. So it, that's that's the key here for me. I mean, I I can talk dark Darkwell all day long at 273. It's they, like you said. Everybody knows that the the Giants just fell apart offensively last year, and then when Odell was hurt. First four or five games of the season, Darko was nowhere to be seen. He had eight carries or whatever in one game, but then he kind of Paul Perkins gets hurt. Then, then, then the then the offense was like, all right, well let's let let's just go out there. We're, they're going to Denver. I remember it like it was yesterday. They they were a big underdog. They were going to Denver. Denver's passing defense is ridiculously good. The Giants just lost all their receivers the week before. They had nobody. That, and they go to Denver and win the game just running it, just pounding it down their throats. And Denver was just completely caught off guard. And the uh, Giants changed their offense overnight. Of course, the next week he, they play against Seattle. And the Seattle's like, well, we can show you. And he goes nine for 35. But then, like Jay Wayne said, a couple weeks in a row, he's startable. Uh, me and Casey had a league where we started him a couple weeks and it was not terrible. And there's, um, you know, there's a lot to, there's a lot to like, and if to pay $0 for a guy like dark will right this minute. He, and, and the thing about these running backs are most of the time, it's dependent on what's going on with the team, if they have success or not. Almost all the time that like a Darkwood could go, you could go plug Darkwood into a team that's a smash mouth team and they're going to be that because of the offensive line of road graders or they got the play action pass going or they got a good defense and that's what they're going to do. Like the giants were the like dumpster fire of the league last year. They got Eli Manning's. They benched him for a game to right. put in Geno Smith or they just, the Giants. Well, that was Ben Mac Ben McAdoo trying to solidify his right, legacy as like, a douchebag. Right, <laughs> yeah, ending he, Eli Manning's star streak. So I mean, the, just the other than Evan Ingram and Sterling Shepard showing how awesome they were last year, like the nothing went right for yeah. the Giants at all. So for the limited success that Darkwood did have, we're not nobody's on here telling you he he's awesome, but. To, to do what he did uh, in the I mean, I was kind of telling you that he was kind of awesome. He had some really good games on a shit team. It, he did. He did have some good games on a terrible team. And so, I mean, I think at 273, you could do a heck of a lot worse than grabbing Darkwell on your team. I'm, I'm putting all sorts of feelers out to, to try to 
trade for Darko in this offseason right now, especially before he changes teams and maybe makes a headline? Like, what if he goes? What if he goes somewhere like the Tennessee Titans? Demarco's probably out of there. They got Derrick Henry. They clearly don't want to give Derrick Henry. That's cl- like it's clear to me that they're not trying to give Derrick Henry like just the sole featured role right. where they're just running him out there every weekend. I'm, maybe, I'm not saying that if they did pick up Orleans Darko, they wouldn't maybe draft somebody else and he would be the guy. But it's worth a shot to me. If and clearly at 273, six, the, the people's uh, value is spoken to say that. He's, Nobody values this guy. Let me see if I can go pick him up for peanuts in a trade. Peanuts. I mean, you you could probably trade him. Trade him. Or you could offer nothing and maybe get him back. Right. You know. Hey, I'll give you. I'll give you a an open roster spot if yeah. you give me Darkwood. Sure. Like I, I'm not. I literally won't even give you anything for him, but I will let you give him to me. Give you a six and, and a seven. Right. And you, you might be able to here. get Darkwood. Yeah. But in that hypothetical though, like you said, like that was exactly what I meant. Is that's a perfect team to just pick out of thin air, Casey. Like if he if he goes to the Titans. And Derrick Henry gets hurt. Like there's, they got, they got, they're changing philosophies on offense because they had terrible play calling last year. They're bringing in new coaching staff. But you got Mariota and some young stud wide receivers running around. You got Delaney Walker and John New Smith. You got options. And somebody like Darkwa, if Der- if Derrick Henry were to go down and the hypothetical were to play itself out, and Darkwa's on the Titans, Darkwa could be in a great yeah. running back for zero dollars invested. Right. And I'm not even saying like I don't even I don't. I'm saying like you maybe you might not even need an injury. Maybe they invest in a, in a back late round, but they want Darkwood in there, spelling Derrick Henry, and, and maybe could be useful for you during the season, even if Henry isn't hurt. Like that's just just kind of those. And if he did get hurt, I mean, look out. He he, he did fine with a terrible offense last year, and yeah. With this awesome offensive line and maybe a new philosophy on offense for the Titans, I just obviously it's a ton of speculation here, but Tons. just kind of saying. You know, but that's the kind of thing right. that could make a 273rd pick in an average draft position pick a that's, player very valuable. This is how you win. It's cheap money, man. This is cheap, cheap money. money.